everyone. Hope you're well. Hope you had a fantastic week. Uh, I took it a little bit easier this week because I'm cool and I've got a few things going on. Some of them you'll find out hopefully next week. Hopefully. So we're doing a tasting video. One, because I, I just can't wait any longer. And two, because we need to. So this is a nice cold bottle of honey beer. Brag it, whatever. Honey beer with Citra. Now, if you haven't seen the part one and the part two, I will stick the links up above so uh, well, you, you can see them. So it is, it's finished, it's conditioned, it's carbonated, hopefully. I haven't opened this bottle, so I don't know, but it is cold. So um, I am really looking forward to this. I absolutely adore honey beer. And uh, this should be no, no difference. It should be very, very tasty either way. Now we use beer kits because they're easy and if you followed the recipe loosely, change the honey for a better honey, you end up with an even better result. But at the same time, even if you've never brewed before, you can use the same cheap beer kit, the same honey and the same hops, or whatever hops you want, and get a fantastic end product. No messing around. It's why I love beer kits. So, I, I, I can't wait. I just, I've got to have some. I've got a pint glass and everything. I've been a good boy. So uh, I'm gonna drink beer. So, uh, point it away from your face and let's see if it's carbonated. I would say that's carbonated. It at least, you know, it's cold and wow, that, that had some force. Oh, that is good. It smells beery and honeyish. So uh, let's, let's just pour it out and let's see. So do it carefully and do it slow. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So it has a nice little bit of head on there. And I know someone is gonna, going to hate what I'm about to say. I'm not going to take the last little bit. And, uh, well, look at that. It's sparkly. It's bubbly. Now, I'm not expecting the head to stay very long because it's a, it's a lager kit. Uh, normally, you add lots of malts and all the rest of it to give it extra body and a little bit of head retention on the top but it is clear it is looking beautiful it is bubbly oh and it smells good <laughs> super good so before I uh, before I forget I always leave the last little bit in the bottle uh, always it's just a thing um, I used to be I used to never drink the last little bottom of a pint but I was so used to home brewing so it's, it's just something that I've always done. I've got a separate glass here and I'm going to show you why I don't because uh, there's always one person I know who you are. Oh yes, and you know who you are that uh, says that uh, you should you should drink it all. But this is the last little kind of dreggy bit in the bottom. Uh, this is not clear. It is actually the crust, the yeasty stuff at the bottom. No matter how you try, uh, how much you try or how careful you are, you're always going to get a little bit of this in your pint and it's going to, well, die, you know, a little bit of beer. This is fart juice. I mean, it tastes okay. I mean, you can drink it. It tastes a little yeasty. And I'm not a great fan of that. I, I, like, I like the beer. I'm not a great fan of the yeast. Very healthy for you, though. So here is our pint. It is, uh, it's still bubbling. It's got a good carbonation. And uh, the head, like I said, as I expected, the head's not the best, but I don't care. It just, uh, I'm interested in the liquid. Oh, that is rather yeasty. So, uh, let's get into this. It smells like lager. It's got that honey edge to it. And it's got those citry hops. Oh, my favorite. Cheers. Oh, that is carbonated. Nectar of the gods. So good. I need another one to get the uh, that last little bit of yeasty taste out. Ah, oh, that did it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is a good pint. So it has lager edges to it. And it has that honey edge to it. And uh, as you would guess, 
I use the citra hops to add in a little bit of extra sort of bitterness to it and also those lovely citrus notes. Oh yes. Uh, now that balances out the honey and the, uh, and the beer to kind of blend it into one and it has worked fantastically well. It is a very, very nice beer. Whoa. It is, it's good. It is very delightful. Now the honey notes are actually pretty interesting in this particular version of honey beer that I've made. It tastes like beer when you drink it, which is nice. Then it's got a little bit of a honey note and it's got the uh, hops in the aftertaste. Now, if you just, you know, having a delightful, relaxed pint like I am right now, I'm now getting the sweeter honey notes. Um, I have to say, considering that we just altered a beer kit, which, you know, a lot of people do, but they add in normally extra malt to it or play around with the hops, you can get some fantastic results from a terribly cheap beer kit. I mean, that's, that's why I love beer kits. Cheers. So I've been drinking this pint slowly for the last few minutes. Uh, I thought I'd just you know, skip ahead in time because well, watching me drink a pint, I'm sure is the most riveting YouTube video that you're ever gonna see. But um, yeah, basically I've been allowing my taste buds to adjust to the fact that I'm drinking a tasty bracket beer with hot. Mm. And this pint, gets better once your, your mouth has adjusted. So I'm getting those beery notes in the front, those citra hops, the kind of bittering citrus is um, in the forefront now. And the honey is in the aftertaste and as you swallow. So uh, beer on the front, honey on the back. It's like a party, an all-in-one party. Complex and simple, really damn fine. Of course, I'm going to be making this again, and because I used a beer kit, I, I can make more quite easily, and it will be the same again, which is fantastic. Cheers. Something tells me those tiny little bottles uh, are going to get destroyed. Anyway, so I want to answer a question that I got in the last video, and it was a good question. They were wondering about these two liter bottles of this lovely bracket. Oh, so good. Uh, they were wondering if they were able to bottle up using these instead of the normal, wherever that bottle's gone, uh, 500 ml bottle, and would it keep its carbonation? Yeah, it's just, it's exactly the same as a two liter bottle of pop, whatever, soda, um, whatever you, whatever your chosen name is. If it's carbonated and you use it, it's going to lose a bit of the gla uh, glass, gas. I haven't drank that much. It's going to lose a bit of the gas, but it's still going to be perfectly fine to drink the next day. The main reason I use two liter bottles is because I have this. This is my standard glass that I drink from, but uh, I learned the hard way that doing YouTube videos with this pint glass, which is not a pint, it actually holds just over two pints. Uh, in one in one go um, you get incredibly drunk and then the video doesn't make any sense I'm sure it's fun to watch but still this is why I use the two liter bottle because it gives me around two of these for one of these and that's perfect works out for me so I don't have to spend forever and a day opening bottles just to fill up my glass but you can I mean it's not a problem you can get one liter bottles, you can get 500 ml bottles, you can get 330 ml bottles, the little tiny stubbies. You can use whatever you want. The only difference between using plastic and the glass is uh, the glass is dark, so it's more UV resistant, whereas the plastic, you've got to make sure you're storing it somewhere dark. But uh, that's not a problem because your fridge is dark. So, it, yeah, you don't have to worry about UV. Just, just a handy little tip for those people that are interested. So uh, I'm gonna continue to drink some of this mighty fine nectar of the gods. Cheers. 
So this beer is pretty good and uh, just as I foresaw, another bottle. Oh, that is powerful. <laughs> okay, yeah, that carbonated to perfection. Could have taken my eye out. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna drink this beautiful, light, easy to make beer. Like so. And uh... <laughs> it's fizzy. Maybe I should have gone a little bit slower. Just wash the floor and everything. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to check out some of the other ones and well, subscribe if you feel like it. And um, I'm gonna lick beer off the floor, I suppose. Carry on humbrewing. Cheers. Oh, that is so good.